Thursday workday on Tuesday temporarily is fully underway and Eric has already done a lot of cleanup and he sprayed the tomatoes with neem carrots. <laughs> One of the projects we're going to do today is plant this climbing rose. When I came back from England, I was determined to have a climbing rose on the front of my house. You see that so much there and it's so gorgeous. So we're going to get this planted today. We're also going to be cleaning out this garlic bed. Dottie and I cleared out the borage yesterday and today we're going to Eric is going to clean out that bed. We're going to see what the garlic looks like and reboot the bed to plant something else. And a lot more projects. So stick around. Okay. But not tight, just kind of. Lay down. Yeah. This is pretty. It smells wonderful. That borage really made a mess of that. Let me get something to put the garlic in. I'll be right back. Probably all the same. Okay. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Uh, one of my viewers wrote in and just told me that garlic does not like competition. So I won't be planting anything else with garlic from now on. That's the root for the borage. Yes. Oh, shoot. Let's, uh, yeah, so I think the borage was robbing the garlic of nutrition. It's a lot of beautiful root. Yeah. See, all in different direction. Yeah. See? North, yeah. south, west. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What? Oh yeah. But there's only one grub, that's not bad. We are going to prepare the bed and plant some crimson clover cover crop to replenish the soil with nitrogen. And you can order these seeds from my affiliate link below the video. The other one just goes on that other side. 
The play that I'm doing in Sierra Madre is called The Immigrant, and when he arrives in America, he becomes a banana peddler. And I'm also cooking, and so we go through a lot of vegetables and bananas in each performance. And when we first opened, they were going to throw all these vegetables and bananas away, and I said, no, no, these are going in my compost. So today, next project, Eric is going to bury half of one of these around each of my tomato plants. While Eric pulled back the wood chips from around the tomato plants, I staked up my purple bush beans, which were falling over the raised bed and getting a little beaten up. Then I watered the Asian greens. A little bit, and then water. Okay. 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 Done. One thing I started to be concerned about was the wood chips robbing nitrogen from the tomatoes and basil. Because as soon as I put in this beautiful green basil in this bed, it all turned yellow. And I planted the green basil in those pots over there with no wood chips and it's still beautiful green. So we're pulling the wood chips back from the tomatoes a little bit and putting in chopped up banana and a little bit more of this plant mix. This container was absolutely packed with the roots of the lobelia. I should have divided the plant before it got killed off from uh, being overcrowded and not enough water. So Eric is breaking up the soil. You need to wet this? No. You can wet it now. No? That's enough. That's enough? Mm-hmm. No more? Rather than buying expensive rose fertilizer, you can buy a 50-pound bag of alfalfa pellets for about $15 at a feed store and use that as your fertilizer. Today we're going to put one cup of pellets into the planting hole and another cup around the sides as we plant it. And that will be my fertilizer for the next four months. And then I will top dress the plant as well as my other rose. Hi there. Three or four months from now, we'll top dress it with another cup of alfalfa pellets around the plant. You also want to make sure to give your plants lots of air and lots of sun. They need lots of air to keep them from getting mildew. We have lots of mildew here because we're close to the ocean. And I don't have a lot of sun because we have June bloom. It's almost noon and the sun hasn't broken through. But what I can do is I can plant this climbing rose over in the corner of the house and it will have plenty of air. That's the best I can do. And 
This plant happens to be more disease resistant, so hopefully, fingers crossed. Also, with roses, you want to deadhead once a week to take off the spent blooms and encourage the plant to keep producing flowers. This is true of most flowers. <laughs> so, airspace, sun, inexpensive fertilizer, pruning. There are your tips for growing beautiful roses. And then, yeah. So this is climbing yeah. to, to the house. We need full support. No? We will. We have time. Okay. okay. Some of this compost and some of that and also another cup of the uh, alfalfa just go ahead and use all that and then put a cup of alfalfa and then another one of that want to put a little bit in? if no. you need to a little bit Did you put the alfalfa? I can't remember. No. Oh, I find it. Good. Want to put in more water? Yes. One more. One more gallon. Back. The dirt was dry, wasn't it? Yes. This dirt was dry in that hole? Yes. Good. That's good. We put a lot of water for, for one week. Right, good. All right, get rid of that dirt. Give me one hand. Oh, good. Thanks so much for watching this channel and sharing it with your friends. Please give me a like on the videos and I'll see you in the next one.